we are seeing issues concerning Governor Joho being pushed left, right, center by none other than the president of this country. The president has got his position in society. We have elected him to protect the constitution of this country. The same president, along with his party, are literally full of intimidation, intimidating every person in this country, and more so the elected leaders in the name of governors. We have witnessed the president of this country literally intimidating Joho and telling him he will deal with him. Simple thing we are saying is there are times when public interest overrides constitutional provisions and Joho and his presence is a public interest, is a public calling. We know that Joho, the man, does not want an inch from Central Province. He does not want half an inch from Nairobi County. But the president and his cronies have literally taken over everything, you know, in Coast Province. It's a shame what Joho is saying is this. He is the Sultan. He wants cost to be left alone for him. And that is what we are adding our voice to as Muslims, as same Kenyans, as patriotic Kenyans. Currently and in the past, and as a reminder to, the, to those in power and Kenyans in general, the Muslim community has been maltreated through killings and disappearances, disappearance of members, arbitrary arrests by the security agents, ethnic and religious profiling of the community as terrorists, presence of military and other security agents in Muslim-dominated counties to specifically put Muslims in constant fear while there is no threat to warrant that and above all as pretext to fighting terror and last but not the least the issue of intimidating elected members of the community in leadership among them the likes of Hassan Joho. The Kenya Muslim Caucus is not taking the matter touching on Honorable Joho lightly and if the due process of the law is not followed to correct any wrongdoing on his part and on the part of the security agents, then we will have no choice but to advise the Muslim community not to support this government in any capacity, especially in the forth forthcoming general elections. Instead of fighting corruptions and the drought menacing the country, is we really chasing a small man now. Where are we heading? This is the biggest tragedy now in this country. The evolution of corruption in this country is started with the Uhuru's father who has had the biggest chunk of this country has stolen. And then uh, it, 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 Moi perfected it. And then it slowed down a bit during the Kibaki regime. Now it has been digitized. We are seeing a governor being witch-hunted. A governor, you know, whose the weight of the president has been put on him. And he doesn't even stop there. It's state machinery managed by one tribe. And it's very sad, you know. We never begined, you know, for one tribe, you know, to rule us, you know, for 50 years. Things don't work that way. Whereby, you know, the CID is calling him. Who is calling him? The, the person who is calling him, uh, and, 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 and NSIS, is from the same community. The person, Mushira, you know, who is in cost. Things are not going to work that way in this country. We are there as brothers. We came together to build a greater Kenya, a greater Africa. So I'm just telling you. The issue of Governor Joho's certificate will be contested. Take it from me. It will be contested. It's a public calling. And that is a domain which belongs to the people, of course.